So when we pray, tell our children, be grateful. Now imagine you really understand that salah is gratefulness, then you and I will love to do it. Oh, hold on, hold on. I got to go thank God. Why? 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 No, no. I got to go thank Him for all the things He's done for me. Oh my God. I, I, shame on me if I don't go pray. Now that's different from saying, oh, I got to go pray because if I don't, God will throw me in hell. The second one, somebody listens to you, says, you poor guy, you're such a slave. You see me? I'm free. That's the wrong attitude. And I ask the basic question to every human being. Somebody comes to your door and gives you a gift. And you open it. You open it, you look at it. Mm, it's very nice. Very nice. Very nice. The person who's the gifter is standing there. Very nice. Okay, bye. I'll see you. Slam the door. You don't have to say much. If you saw a video of that, and I asked the whole world, what do you think of that person who received the gift? Every one of us would say, ungrateful. Something's wrong with this person. I asked children, if somebody gives you a gift, what are you supposed to say? Oh, thank you. I said, when should you say thank you? Right away. I said, what if you waited an hour? So what means that I didn't really like your gift? The longer you wait, the more you're telling the gifter it wasn't that good. It's amazing. Basic logic. Someone gives you a gift, you open it, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Whatever it is, you like it, you don't like it. Thank him, thank him, thank her. Why? It's protocol. You're a human being, you're civil. We must teach our children prayer is gratitude. Love gratitude. When you and I are constantly positioned to be grateful at every stage, positive and negative, something got lost, oh, Alhamdulillah, good, good, good. Oh, somebody said nice thing, Alhamdulillah. Somebody is going to, Alhamdulillah, that, Alhamdulillah. You live like that, as I mentioned yesterday, we are hardwired that when we think positive, positive things come towards us. The world begins to love us. We become magnetic. The world starts to enjoy our company because we see the world in such positive lenses. So salah should be taught to our children. Habibi, go and pray. Did you thank Allah today for all the grace He gave you today? Did you see that food we had today? How was it? Oh, it was very delicious. Go thank Him. Did you thank Him that we're healthy? Did you thank Him that there was no sickness today? Did you thank Him that there was no death today? Now, if we talk that lingo and our children are raised in that environment where they fall in love with Allah, we don't have to give them candies and push them to go pray. And parents are saying, my son doesn't want to pray. My daughter doesn't want to pray. Yeah, they don't want to pray because we don't talk the lingo that Allah has given us. We have made religion a burden. We've made it such a stigma that it's inhibitive, if not prohibitive. 